Now that we hopefully understand some of the fundamentals of the structure of ASP.NET, let's actually get in and build an app. Um, you, so much of what we've done so far has been foundational. We've did a little crash course on C Sharp. We are uh, becoming familiar with the idea of data types and, and passing information back and forth of different data types. We have created classes and instances of uh, those classes. We've uh, used APIs and again, just reiterated the concepts of building instances of classes and having that information passed back and forth. We've gone through the structure of uh, MVC and learned uh, you know, how we organize that and, and prep the app. And all of that was, was in preparation for what we're going to do now, which is actually go build some apps in .NET. And so I'm gonna open up Microsoft Visual Studio and we're gonna say, create a new project. And then the, the template we're looking for, again, I think it's easiest just to search for MVC. And then we should see this uh, template pop up that says ASP.NET Core Web App Model View Controller. That's what we're looking for with C Sharp. And so we'll click on that and say next. And then uh, in terms of what is it we're gonna build? And just to give a little background on this, uh, the thought I've had when I was trying to think through of what we could build in, in this series of videos, um, the thought came to me of an app that my dad wrote called Stalk Me, S-T-A-L-K. And this was back uh, you know, when smartphones first came out, right around 2008. I was part of a little team that wrote up a little uh, research grant to get uh, each of the different types of smartphones that were available. So at the time, the iPhone had just barely come out. The Android uh, G1 was out. Uh, the Windows Phone. There was an actual Windows Phone. Uh, Blackberry. And so we got these different smart devices. And the, the purpose of that research was to just figure out which uh, technologies would be best to, to create classes around so that we could teach how to write uh, code for these devices in the classroom. And so we ended up from that building iPhone and, and Android uh, classes that students could learn how to program in those different technologies. Well, the first app I ever wrote was one where you, you just pressed a button and it marked your location and then you walked a certain amount of distance and you pressed another button and it told you how many yards between those two points. And so this was <laughs> built for golf so that I could track my shots. Um, I could press the button and then and hit my drive and then go walk to the distance and press the other button and it would tell me how far I'd hit it, 425 yards. And uh, anyway, uh, but what, one of the apps my dad built was one uh, called, like I said, Stalk Me, that uh, you couldn't have the GPS running in the background. It drained too much battery and there were some uh, things about that. So he got around it by writing an app that would uh, send out a text message on some interval, so you'd choose every five minutes, every 10 minutes, every 30 minutes, you would choose the interval and you'd type in some phone numbers and then you would press stalk me and it would, on, a, on those intervals you'd uh, indicated, it would send out a text message that had a link with your location on it. And so you could click on that link as the person who's receiving the text message and it would pop up in the maps and show where the person you were stalking was. And so anyway, we used it a lot on, you know, when people are traveling in from different places or whatever to see where they were at long before find my friends or uh, location sharing or anything like that was around. And so a clever little app, he never did release it to market, which I thought was a shame. I thought it was a good little app and he just never felt it was ready for, for uh, public consumption. But um, anyway, so what I was thinking is in terms of what we could write was um, I was thinking we could write an app called Date Me. And this is a place where a person can come and fill out an application if they want to date you. And you can uh, do things with that application. You can put them on a wait list. You can, um, you can filter out by certain criteria and uh, decide who it is you want to date. Now, many of you, like me, are married, and that's okay because um, we don't just write applications for ourselves, right? We write them for clients. And so we're gonna build this little date me app in this series of videos. And so what we're gonna do first is, is uh, start with our default project. So let me finish this up. Let's name our project date me. 
and then we'll leave this unchecked and then next and then uh, again I'll leave the default options we'll use .NET 8 and we'll say create now this is going to create for us this uh, template of MVC that we've looked at and as it turns out you can either start with an empty app and then add the stuff in you want to make it an MVC app or you can start with the MVC template which as it turns out includes a bunch of stuff that we don't necessarily need and so you end up deleting some stuff and you can start either way it's up to you personal preference but I've found it's easier to start with the the default MVC template and then just take out the things that we don't want or need in it and so that's what I'm going to do uh, for this uh, app that we're building and so in the next video I'll go through and actually clean up the app to get it ready for us to start uh, developing. Spencer out.